Hi everyone, this is Eileen here from SingaporeOLevelMax.com. Today I will be sharing with you how do we actually solve an inequality involving double inequality sign. Let us take a look at the question. Part of the requirement of the question needs you to present your solution on a number line. So, after observing that we have two inequality signs, next step that you should be taking is to separate this into two parts. Let us take a look at how we go about doing the, about this. This will be the first part. And this will be the second part. After you have completed this step, what we're going to be doing is we'll take care of each part solving as if it was a single inequality. So this is what happened. Let me just quickly go through what I did in each step. I multiply everything by 4 because I want to get rid of the fraction. And with that, I move the unknown to the side that is positive. For this case, is on the left hand side. And I get this inequality as you see over here. I repeat the same procedure for the second part. I multiply everything by 4. And I move my unknown to the right hand side this time. Because this is the side which will give me a positive k. And I get this other inequality answer. Now, is this our final answer? Definitely not. Next step for this is you need to combine the solution into number line. So this is how we go about drawing the number line. This is the main number line here. I put in where the zero is. I put in the key numbers. Negative 4 over 3 will be on the left hand side. 2 whole 2 over 7 will be on the right hand side. And I start drawing my first number line for k less than or equals to 2 whole 2 over 7. I start from this point here and I draw since it's less than or equal, I draw all the way to the left. Now due to the fact that there's an equal sign, so that's why this dot here got to be solid. I repeat the same procedure. Now this time round, k is more than negative 4 over 3. So I start at this point here, less than negative 4 over 3. Since it is not including negative 4 over 3, I draw a empty dot and I go all the way to the right hand side. Once you have um, completed this step over here, then the next, the last step will involve you shading the common area that the two number lines share. So I've shaded that and that will be our answer. So it involves you to actually write the answer in a form of inequality. So this is how we go about doing it. K must be more than negative 4 over 3, less than or equals to 2 and 2 over 7. I hope this is very clear to you. And I'm going to leave you a bonus question for you to work it out yourself. I would suggest a maximum of 3 minutes to complete this question. Present your solution on a number line. Answer is given. If you have any other question, I'll be very pleased to actually answer. Just leave me a comment. And if you want more math tips, please go to SingaporeOLevelMax.com. Thank you.